The Tom McConnell Show on the Voice of Niagara. News Talk 610 CKTV. 22 minutes after 10. It was this on Rock'em Sock'em? Oh, yeah, this is the opener. Oh, is it? Yeah. Look at that shit right here. Look Probert. at him. Look at him. Probert lays out Keen. Whoa. You know, for a guy who profited, how much? How many videos do you think he sold? There's millions. Like, well, and there's like 19 yeah. Rock'em Sock'ems. Probably more. No, there's tw- uh, 30. Clark, how are you? I'm well. How are you? I'm well. Surprised that Don Cherry was let go by Sportsnet following our uh, conversations over the last couple of days? Nope. I, uh, in fact, I watched it live and I said, well, that'll be the last time I ever watch uh, Coach's Corner because he's gone. He's going to be fired for that. And it, now, what if he apologized, though? Like, I am all about second chances. I'm all about the redemption story that people can learn and recover, even though he's 85 years old and maybe he holds these heartfelt beliefs that what if he apologized? Would that not have been enough for us to say, you know what? The man was wrong for what he said or how he said it. Let's let him back on the air. Oh, more than likely he would have kept his job had he done that. But doubling down, they gave him an opportunity. They gave him a chance to come out on the Sunday night and apologize. He refused. Ron McLean did, kept his job. Um, I personally think that both of them should have gone. The I love you for it and the thumbs up was unacceptable as as far as I'm concerned. Um, He should have caught it. He nodded as soon as Don Cherry said it. Um, And I think they are applying this unfairly. Both of them should have been gone. But Ron apologized. He did. Um, He didn't say it, although he stood by, right? Complicit in silence, to acquiesce. However... he didn't catch it. I guess you have to take him at his word when he said, I didn't catch it. Um... But, you know, had Don just said, all you people who don't wear poppies, that would have fit with his you people that he has a history of saying. That would have been more consistent with what they're trying to sell now. Exactly. But it's when he added the you people who come here, that's where it changed from being a benign general statement statement on society to to targeting specific absolutely directed at immigrants and it's it's not racist a lot of people are calling it racist it's xenophobic which encompasses all immigrants not just one specific group um i'm having a hard time on social media today watching a lot of people not recognize what he said or just straight up refusing to recognize that that is a uncalled for statement an un-canadian statement so they're defending it with patriotism and that's that's inappropriate in my opinion the 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 hardest part of freedom is allowing other people to do things you disagree with. So I wear a poppy. I have always worn a poppy and I always will wear a poppy. But I cannot force someone else to wear a poppy. I, I can give them my opinion. I think you should wear a poppy. It's disrespectful for you not to. But that's as far as we can go. You can't force someone else to do something because you do it. Yeah. And it's a hard part of freedom. Yeah. Clark, I'll leave it there. Jimmy, how are you? Well, that is the biggest load of crap I ever heard, Clark. Is xenophobia, last time I checked, the fear of people, not immigrants, you jackass. You know what? Most media personalities are mostly milk toast fence sitters. Just happy to have a job. Don't make waves. Don't have an unpopular opinion. Look, look, just look to keep that chair warm until the next ad comes through. Because you know what? No ads, no freaking paychecks, you <laughs> Never apologize to the mob, especially if you're not sorry you believe you did nothing wrong. Few in media are coming out in, sp- in support of free speech, and when they come for you, there'll be no one left to defend you. It's not like, oh, I don't know, grapes made fun of, oh, grape and wine or something. He should still have a job. There's no difference between the left and right in media, right? Okay, so all the left-meeting media 
which is most of the media in North America, reported in the headline, in the headline, Tommy, and you did this today yourself. Immigrants never came out of the guy's mouth. You did it today. And then you go on to say... You people you that come mind. here. You go on to say you can't read his mind, but then you go on to read his mind. He said, you people mouth, that come guy, here. He, Do you know what the difference asked, between hey, look, Don Cherry guy, is? You ask a guy to and clarify you? his remarks, and then when he answers, you say, well, not like that, or now you're lying. This outrage culture cancel everyone on the right. Don Cherry's a Nazi. He's a white supremacist. He had a chance to apologize, and he didn't. Meanwhile, back as a dude ranch, blackface gets a pass, and he's defended by... No one gave him a pass. He's defended by the very same people... Well, he shouldn't be. ...calling for Cherry's head. He shouldn't be defended. Xenophobia is fear of outsiders, by the way. It's not fear of people. Xenophobia. Dislike or prejudice against people from other countries. One eight seven seven six ten two five eight two nine zero five six eight eight two five eight two pound six ten on the Bell Mobility Network.